سابقا تعلمنا how to make a negative sentence and we said it depends on the type of the word whether it is اسم or فعل if it is اسم we will use the forms of ليس before the اسم depends on the pronoun and if it's فعل it will be depends on the tense if it's ماضي past we will use لم before the فعل if it's present مضارع we will use لا before the فعل and if it's مستقبل future we will use لن before the فعل and all of them we will use the form of the present tense فعل فعل مضارع جملة اليوم المعلم لا يعمل في هذه المدرسة المعلم لا يعمل في هذه المدرسة المعلم لا يعمل في هذه المدرسة Pause the video and repeat it out loud خمسة أربعة ثلاثة اثنان واحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرحبا جميعا صباح الخير أو مساء الخير أنا عز الدين وأنتم تشاهدون تعلم اللغة العربية مع زد كيف حالكم اليوم الأحد الأحد اليوم الأحد اليوم we will talk عن الضمائر pronouns as in English in Arabic we have three pronouns first person pronoun second person pronoun and third person pronoun we call them ضمير المتكلم first person pronoun المتكلم the one who is speaking ضمير المخاطب second person pronoun the one who is listening ضمير الغائب third person pronoun is the one who is absent absent from the conversation even if he is present in the place but in the conversation he is absent if you are talking about the third person pronoun you are talking about someone who is not present in your conversation in Arabic we like to be specific how? see this under first person pronoun ضمير المتكلم we have two pronouns we have أنا ونحن I and we under ضمير المخاطب second person pronoun we have you for مفرد مذكر singular masculine you for مفرد مؤنث singular feminine you for مثنى two people masculine or feminine you for plural masculine جمع مذكر and you for plural feminine جمع مؤنث under ضمير الغائب the third person pronoun we have the same he she they for two مثنى they for masculine plural جمع مذكر and they for جمع مؤنث plural feminine the good news is we already know half of them we know أنا we know نحن we know أنت أنت هو هي well what about the rest do you want to make it easy and simple okay under ضمير المخاطب can you see أنت we will use it with all pronouns under ضمير المخاطب second person pronoun and can you see the letter ها we will use it with all pronouns under ضمير الغائب the third person pronoun and then we will use these three helpers ما في نهاية الكلمة in the end of the word will be for dual for مثنى م في نهاية الكلمة will be for جمع مذكر ن في نهاية الكلمة will be for جمع مؤنث how is that? let's see this we will put ما after أنت or ها it will be أنتما and هما أنتما for second person pronoun ضمير المخاطب and هما for third person pronoun ضمير الغائب we will put م after أنت or ها in جمع مذكر under ضمير المخاطب and under ضمير الغائب it will be أنتم وهم it will be أنتم for ضمير المخاطب and هم for ضمير الغائب and we will put ن after أنت or ها it will be أنتنا and هنا أنتنا for جمع مؤنث under ضمير المخاطب second person pronoun and هنا for جمع مؤنث under ضمير الغائب third person pronoun and then we will color the words we already know and that's it pronouns in Arabic are specific and easy each pronoun has some equipments like my, yours, mine and like this you don't need to memorize them you will just use them and get used to them by time you will find them very easy 
you can notice the color for dual, for masculine, and for feminine. So the pronouns are أنا ونحن under ضمير المتكلم first person pronoun under ضمير المخاطب second person pronoun we have أنت أنتي أنتما أنتم أنتنا for ضمير الغائب third person pronoun we have هو هي هما هم هنا I want you in the comments to choose five pronouns and make sentences using them. <coughs> now, I want to tell you that this is the last video in level two, and the next video will be the test. Don't look like this. You know, tests are fun. Shh, prepare yourself. See you in the test. Arakum fil See you soon in the test.